For our first in-depth profile, we turn to Robert Redford, who always seemed to really enjoy his own longevity. Here we are still standing. Here we are still standing. That's how you introduce it, Dave. You say, Bob, it's good to see you still standing. And you say, Dave, because I'm trying to remember the first time I talked to you. Whoa, way back on Santa Monica yeah. Pier, you yeah. were making the sting. sting. Jeez. 19 aught. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I just don't believe the premise, you see, in most of these awards that they, whether it's even films or, or sport, uh, for the most part, to me, there's only one true contest, and that's the foot race. When we were talking on Santa Monica Pier all those years ago, you compared the, the Oscars well. Uh, you know, it's not really a foot race. The only real contest is a foot race. That's it. That's it. See, that's the pure... If you're talking about a race, the Oscar race, that I have no use for. Since you did a movie that was more or less your personal project, I th I'm thinking of um, All the President's Men, of course. White House aide told me that Hunt was investigating Kennedy. Who was it? Who was it? You want the name, you mean? No, no. How senior? How high up? I don't know titles. I couldn't find anything that I really wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And there didn't seem to be any point in just creating something just for the sake of creating. So that amounted to three years. Mm -hmm. A lot of people think I've been out of work through popular demand. <laughs> Who thinks that? <laughs> Did you feel like you were like back in the saddle again in, in terms of acting? What do you mean? You know, doing that thing after a couple of years away what from thing, it. David? The acting thing. I'm getting nervous about this conversation. <laughs> Don't be nervous. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what have I been doing? Just what have I been doing? I've been walking barefoot in the park. You know, I started in the theater in New York. Mm -hmm. And when you, when you put in your time and develop your craft, you, it becomes a part of you. It becomes a part of you that just doesn't come and go with changing times. It's there. And so you call on it, and you use it, and it's, it's something I enjoy. And so therefore, it's not as painful as it is sometimes. I still enjoy it. It's painful sometimes? Mm -hmm. painful it's hard. Way. It's a hard business. Painful how? When you, when you draw from somewhere deeper inside yourself for whatever is called for, mm -hmm. it's not easy. Because to draw it up from inside yourself is tough, and sometimes that comes with pain. You really think you're easy? Compared to what? The Hundred Years' War? Counterattack, politics, revolution. But I admire it. Up to a point. That's right, up to a point. It's not for me to moralize. That's up to somebody else. But you can certainly put the issue out to be looked at and then possibly, hopefully debated. And the issue to be debated now is ethics. I don't know what's going to happen, but I think it's worth looking at and to make a dramatic story, an entertainment piece that asks us to look at that issue uh, is not bad. Bernstein, are you sure on this story? Absolutely. Woodward, I'm sure. You're aging very gracefully. Do you, do you feel that? Talk about well, that a little bit. If you put bit. that in print, I'll be a happy guy. How do you do that? It, it seems like you have no fear of aging at all. The cosmetics of things does not really interest me so much. I think it's one of the, maybe the unhappy features of our culture that we're obsessed with cosmetics as to how people look. Mm -hmm. You know, we judge them by how they look rather than what comes through. I wish it weren't so, but I also don't think about it. I don't spend a lot of time thinking about how I look or how I'm aging is just going to happen. And what's going to happen is going to happen. There's not a lot I can do about it. What I don't believe in doing about it is to reconstruct things. Mm -hmm. It's just the way it's going to be. But fear, I do have. Fear is not so much the way I will be looking as not being able, as that moment when I won't be able to do the things physically that I've enjoyed doing all my life because I've been active physically. Yeah. I've loved sports, I've loved athletics. And it gives me a lot of pleasure to be able to be physical. And to get to that point through aging where you just simply cannot do that anymore, I suspect I'll have a tough time with that. Mm -hmm. You're not there yet, though, no, are you? Not at all. No.